Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Keith Pichardo, and what? You. Do you hear that? Fit check. Fit check. Fit check. Thought I'd show the fit off for the intro, so there's that. So the other day, I put on my Instagram story a Q&A for y'all to answer. Uh, what? Answer? I'm answering. You're not answering. I put on a Q&A for you guys to question and for me to answer. If y'all haven't checked out my previous video, it was about me explaining why I came back from California and my experience there. And um, yeah, my further goals with this channel, with this conversation between us, the conversation is continued. I thought after that I should explain my life a little more, explain who I am as a person. On my Instagram story the other day, I put on a question thing, you know, a little like, ask me a question, you, you know, you know what I'm talking about. And y'all delivered, y'all asked a bunch of questions, uh, I'm not doing this again. I asked a bunch of questions, wait, me asked, I don't, I didn't ask, you asked the questions. What am I doing, bro? I'm not prepared, I'm not prepared. I asked you guys to ask me questions for this Q&A video and y'all delivered, so I'm here to answer all your questions about my my life shift. Y'all have seen that my content has changed, that uh, my personality has changed, but in reality, my personality has always been the same. I just have something to grind for now. So, gotta whip out the phone real quick for your questions. And yeah, so let's get started. Um, oh, you know what? I low-key wrote in a book. Thought it'd be easier. Question one. Bro, I, I can't sit like this. We're gonna start off with the simple questions and get, you know, kind of kind of deep. Okay, first question is, what is your dream place to live? So mine, personally, I'd have to say Dominican Republic. I'm half Dominican, my dad was born there. And I went there the other summer, and it was the best experience of my life. I would wake up, and we'd have fresh mangoes on the table. Mangoes are my favorite, by the way. They're just so, you know, sweet and juicy, you know? Dude. Yeah, it was an experience that I never had. Um, I got to see my family there, but the ocean was beautiful. All these things all combined, it was a blessing to get to go there. I loved the experience, I loved the people, and I definitely would be so glad to go back. I, I want to go back as soon as possible. You don't even know how crazy that place was, but yeah. Not too much for that one. I, I haven't really thought about that one too much, but that's my answer, so. What other language would you like to speak? Hmm, that's a good question. I would have to say Spanish, because my dad speaks Spanish, my, half my family speaks Spanish, and I don't. Another lang- bro, this language, I think is like singing, bro. Portuguese. They're like singing. They're singing a song when they speak, and it's the most beautiful, sexy, you know, sexy. Language, bro, what am I? First Spanish, because I get to communicate with my family. I think it's a, a big, well-known language that you can use in a lot of different places, but Portuguese, I think, is beautiful. If you're a Portuguese lady, my DMs are open. Next question. Do you think you will ever play on a soccer team again? To be honest, no. No, I don't. I've played soccer since I was around three or four. I played club soccer when I was in like seventh or eighth grade. And, no, earlier, like sixth grade. But um, yeah, it, soccer has taught me how to work as a team. It's helped me learn how to grind, but I think that's an experience that's in my past. That's a chapter ended, but it has definitely helped me grow to the person who I am as a... Can't speak, bro. Can't. What did he say? <laughs> Miriku. I think sports and team sports are just, they help you fight for something even through the tough times. So that's helped me a lot. Next question is, biggest accomplishment in your soccer career? Hmm. I got, uh, I would say my biggest accomplishment as a soccer player alone is all region for right back. That's what I played. And I was really happy to get that. I worked my ass off. I was always one of the smaller kids. And as I got older, I needed to pick up that aggressiveness because I was one of the smaller kids. I started grinding super hard. I was able to go up against the tough kids, but I still got a little swagged up sometimes. 
I'm so glad I got to experience that because without soccer, I wouldn't be where I am. With a lot of things that I've been through, I wouldn't be where I am. But yeah. What's your biggest pet peeve? Um, hmm. I'd have to say, my biggest pet peeve is probably like, I think like trends, like trendy things. I think it's just something for people to feel included and feel accepted. I think things that trend, they just, uh, they're not something that's going to last and things that don't last are not for me. But I think that mainly, yeah, I don't, I don't like short term things, things that are just not going to help me gain. And I think that trends are just something to feel included. And that's not for me. If it's for you, it's okay. That's for you. That's your thing. Just not for me. I typically just like to do my own things. I also, what are some, what are some more puppies? Boundaries. When people don't have boundaries, I just think that there's things that people shouldn't say where they overstep and they think it's nothing, but it's really deeper to the other person. Or when people tell you secrets and they don't keep a secret, it's called a secret from a reason. From a reason. It's called a secret for a reason. I just think that when people tell you things, it's incomp. It's in confidence for a reason, so don't explain those things to other people. The reason that people do that is just to have a conversation. They think it's just a typical thing, like just something to talk about because they're bored. But in reality, it's something that's close to another person that you shouldn't talk about. The little things that give me pet peeves are like chewing with your mouth open. Must. You take a shower, bro. Take a shower. It's nice, I promise. I take cold showers, by the way. I, every day in the morning, I take a cold shower and it feels good. It wakes me up right away and I'm ready for the things I don't want to do during the day. That's a, that's a life lesson right there. Take cold showers if you want to have a uh, uncomfortable or er, if you want to be, huh. if you want to be able to work through uncomfortable situations, try to take cold showers in the morning. Just like the last 30 seconds, you can start warm, whatever. Just last 30 seconds, play a jam. Play jam. I'll be playing, bro, Miley Cyrus be hitting the shot. Don't listen to the last thing I said, but take a cold shower, that's a life tip. Gets you ready for uncomfortable things in uh, your day to day stuff. So, what did he say? This is a good question. Yes, sir. What traits do you look for in a girl? Let me get this straight. I'm not into girls. I'm into women. What I mean by that, let me, let me get this straight before y'all start chatting up the, you know, comments. What I mean is I'm not into that high school girl uh, text Snapchat thing. It's not for me. I've gone through that so many times. And only reason I'm going to get in a relationship is if I can benefit off of it and they can benefit off my day-to-day -day stuff. I'm not going to get a girlfriend just to waste time or use time to feel like a comfort thing. I don't want to be in my comfort zone. I want us to go explore. I want us to grow off of each other. And that's what I mean by woman. That's what I mean by I want a woman. I want someone that's mature. I want someone that's going to help me day to day, that it's going to challenge my thinking and I want to challenge their thinking. I, I, Bro, I think that I'm only going to allow things that fit into my schedule and I will fit into theirs, such as if you are important enough to me, you will fit into my schedule. And I don't mean this in a negative way. I don't want, I want to sound snobby or anything, but it's a serious thing because I think a lot of people rely on another person for comfort and love and, and uh, confidence. That's a big thing, confidence. When I rely on you for the ups, then I'm gonna be super down on myself when you don't give me that attention. So I'm only going to look for someone that builds me as a person. And I build them as a person. I'm looking for a woman. That's what I meant. If that makes sense, cool. If it doesn't, I'm sorry you don't understand. I tried to put it into words as best as possible, but yeah. Next question. Are you going to college? If so, what's your major? So, I just got accepted to ASU, actually, for this fall, and I'm going for film and media. Film and media is basically like, 
the production of movies, lighting, screenwriting, directing, that's exactly my focus. I'm trying to get into that sort of field because movies drive me. I want to make movies, I want to act in movies, that's my passion. And when I watch movies, I watch them to change my way of thinking. The number one thing that's helped me through my struggles are movies and changing my way of thinking. I want to be a part of that process. What's shaped me, I want to start shaping other people in that way. I'm super excited. I finally get to start my journey on the thing I want to do. I have full force into it. I believe in myself that I could get there. And that's all you truly need is you need to believe in yourself fully if you want to get to the place that you are. People feel like they need to know what they want to do right away. It takes time. Let me ask you a question. When I say, what do you want to do with your life? What's the first thing that pops in your mind? Don't even think about it, just the first thing. That thing is something that you should be picking up right away and you can just start learning day to day to day to day. Once you pick up something and start picking at it five to 10 minutes a day, think about it, 365 days, let's say 10 minutes a day. So if you do 10 minutes a day, 365 days is 3,650 minutes of learning that. That's a huge amount of time. So imagine if you do an hour a day, stop making excuses, just pick it up. You wanna play guitar? Pick it up. You wanna start writing books? Pick it up. You gotta start somewhere, start researching. You just gotta take the time for yourself. Saying I'm gonna do this tomorrow, not gonna work. You gotta be like, today is the day. That's how you're gonna get there. Start learning that little thing that's always in your, the back of your mind you think you should do and you know you would love to, just pick it up. Off to the next question. What's motivated you to work out and how long have you been doing it? When I was in California, I was not eating. I didn't have enough money to eat. I went there 145 and I came back at 120. That time in my life was very hard because I didn't have the money to eat. I've never been to the place where I don't have food on the table, which I'm very glad and blessed that I have had that. Now, because of that, I know what point I can't get to for myself. About three months ago, I started working out. I am back up past 145 and 155 um i gained 35 pounds in the past three months which is insane i feel like because i had that experience um of not having food on the table all i want to do is make food it's it's like an art to me i feel like every single source of life whatever you think of is a source of art it's someone's creativity placed into an object. If you truly think about it, I think everything is art. I just like to create. That's my grind, that's my passion, is creating and making other people happy through it. And that's what this is. I love these conversations with us because it pushes me harder. It pushes my brain to challenge you and have you challenge me. That's what's motivated me to work out is that I've gotten to the place where I am super weak. You just gotta find your you gotta find that one thing that drives you, that one one point in your life, instead of saying, why did this thing hurt me so much? Why, why did it have to be there? Instead of saying that, be like, that's happened to me. This is the experience. I need to use that as fuel. And when you use it as fuel, when you stop having expectations for people and stop expecting things to be done for you and think that you deserve anything, you don't deserve Every single day when you wake up and think, I don't deserve this, you work every single day to lay your head back on that pillow. Use those things that have happened in your life that have caused traumatic effect or have hurt you deep down. Use those as fuel because life happens. Life's gonna hit you with things that are unexpected and when you see it as life happening, it's gonna help you push for the harder things later on. That's how I function. I function off of the deep times I'm able to look at the hard times and say, this is a part of my life and this is what I gotta go through in order to get to that later position where I am happy. And I can be happy now about it because I know it's just life happening. But just be aware. That's the main thing, you gotta be self-aware. What's your favorite and least favorite workout? I would say, huh, I, I like all workouts because I'm growing every muscle, but I would say that my favorite is leg day 
because it's the hardest one and afterwards I feel so much better that I got it out of the way because I don't like it as much. So when it's over, I like it more. If that, does that make sense? Make it make sense. You, you understand what I'm saying. <laughs> I'd say my least favorite is probably abs. Abs make me, bro, I feel like I'm gonna poop my pants when I do abs. <laughs> yeah, those are, those are probably my favorite and least favorite legs because I need them thick thighs, you know, thick thighs. My next question is, would you ever move back to California once you're stable and with your career? Let me get this straight. I am stable currently. I am stable mentally, physically, uh, money-wise. I'm chilling. I just don't think that I'm ready to go there. I need to keep building um, on my... I, I guess I'm not stable. <laughs> but I definitely see myself going back, and that's the goal. So, yeah, there, there's that question for you. This next question is... What's the best tip for loving yourself and being confident in who you are? One is you gotta stop worrying about what other people are doing. Once you realize that we are all people and they're gonna die doing what they're gonna do and I'm gonna die doing what I'm gonna do. Once you realize that, you stop worrying about what other people are doing and having FOMO. I've had my experience with FOMO, but now I realize that that's their life. They need that to enjoy themselves. I need to do my own thing to enjoy myself. And most likely what they're doing is probably not progressing me anyways. So it doesn't matter. Stop worrying about other people, what they're wearing, what they're doing, because everyone has insecurities. Everyone has their own thing going on. Some people are just better at hiding it. Try to make what you're doing right now better by yourself. Tip number two, tell yourself. Physically, I just spit so don't worry about that. Tell yourself in the mirror. It literally, there's this thing that I found. It's called that, it's called like the umbrella effect or something. I, I think it's called that. Let me look it up. Let me look it up. You know what? I, I don't really know if it's called that. Please let me know if you do know. Type it in the comments if I'm right. I think it's called the umbrella effect. I don't know. But it's where you have your own perception under your umbrella or whatever. It's where you have your own perception about all these things going around, or it's called like the spotlight effect or something, that everyone's thinking about what you're thinking, that that you think, Oh, I'm ugly and they're thinking about it. Or, or I, I, they might be looking at me. In reality, they got their own thing going on. They have their own umbrella and they're, they're thinking, Everyone's looking at me right now, like I look so good. But in reality, no one's looking at them. It's all about perception. You gotta just tell yourself you're beautiful. You know, it literally takes more energy to be negative than positive. So why do we have so much negativity in the world? I was never a confident person. So I depended on everyone for confidence. Truly, that's the worst thing. In relationships with people, with, with spouses, with family, don't expect anything from them and don't rely on them for emotional support. You gotta use that for yourself. Like, it's okay because we're all human. We all gotta be there for each other, but don't expect it because not everyone's thinking about you. It's true. No one truly gives a shit about you. So give a about yourself. Start learning how to love yourself. You gotta do it step by step. It's not going to be a quick one day thing, but you gotta start somewhere just like everything else, whether you're playing a musical instrument, learning how to read, whatever it is, you gotta do it step by step. The people that want to get to a certain place right away, they're worried about the end goal so much that they're not even starting the process. When you stop worrying about the end goal and start working on little things such as like, I, I did this cause I'm learning guitar, but. <laughs> When you start picking away at it every single day, you'll get to that end goal eventually. Just stop worrying about it because then if you worry about it so much, you're going to get there and realize how much of your life you missed out. Next question. What's your dream job? My dream job is definitely uh, acting or filmmaking or directing. One of those, like I said, it's helped me emotionally. It's helped me get stable with myself, see different perspectives of people, of families, of um, races, of sexualities, it, it shows me different points of views and perspectives in life and how other people feel about themselves because in reality these actors have to become what they are portraying and it just is another view on life and I want to do that for people. I, I want to change mindsets. I want to make this world better because there's too much negativity. There's too much of it and I feel like I've done my deed once I've made that one extra person happy. If I've made your life better right now, I feel like I've succeeded in a way.
So yeah, I, I really want to get into the filmmaking industry or the acting industry. I think embodying a character that you have to create through different experiences in life and different people in life based off facial reactions, based on just how you walk in a room. Everyone walks in a room different and it's kind of crazy to think about, but it can literally show how a whole person is just by walking in a room or walking out of a room. But yeah, that's that. Next question. What is your goal in life? Now this is the last question, I saved this for last. I have multiple goals in life. The top one, I don't want to have a job and make it my characteristic. When a firefighter is a firefighter, you see them as that. When you see them as a doctor, you see them as a doctor. I wanna build skills throughout life and instead of saying, this job pays great, so I wanna go to that. No, I'm not trying to do that. I, I want to build my skills now and just keep picking up on it every single day and not worry about what's going on later. I can't predict what's gonna happen in 10 years, so why worry about it? Just try to make today better than yesterday. That's all I gotta like. And don't worry about the past, don't worry about the future. Think about now and how good you can do in the now. That makes sense, that makes sense. But yeah, those are all the questions, guys. I hope that you got a better understanding of who I am as a person. Just my goals with this channel, I wanna make us a better relationship, me and you. You and I, I just wanna make our relationship better. I want you to get to know me before jumping into my channel and just start listening what I'm... Everything's darker, bro. Let's open the window, man. But yeah, guys, that's about it. I hope you understand where my intentions are with this channel. I hope you can grow off of it just like I am. And that's my goal with this channel. And Bruh, you don't understand, I li <sighs> I just burped so bad. You don't understand how happy I am for you guys. You guys enabled me to do what I love to do, which is create and share happiness and make people happy. Like, y'all have enabled me to do that, so I appreciate y'all so much. Thank you guys so much for 1K on my first video. Don't forget to go check it out. It's still right there, go check it out. I'm so excited for y'all, bro. But. Comment down below any questions that I missed so that you can have a better day or, or anything that it, you are struggling in your life. Comment down below. I'll DM you. We can have a conversation. That's what this is about is a conversation. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell. And always remember, on this channel, it's you first. Peace.